You know, I never really talked about this much, especially growing up. I left the boohoo and to my uh, my siblings. They like to be the self confessors and tell everybody their problems. Um, hell, my family never even asked me. Um, you would think my mother abandoning me when I was eight that my family would at least ask me what happened you know when we lived with them or they'd give us counseling or something but they never did um I guess they thought it was good enough that my sister gave it her side but regardless um I just kept it to myself the truth be known growing up like that um and if you were to ever ask any kind of foster child or child that was adopted, um, you're always going to feel alone, not wanted. And that's the way I always felt growing up, uh, not wanted. Um, hell, it was into my early 30s that I finally stopped crying myself to sleep. Uh, I know that's a sad pity me party kind of thing, and I don't usually like talking about that. Uh, But I think it's important. I think some of y'all need to hear that kind of stuff. Because there's a lot of people out there that's hurting. That really believe that nobody wants you around. And I really, I, I know nobody wanted me when I was young. You know, um, my mom left my, well, my dad left me whenever I was born. Uh, he got the chance to take me whenever my mother lost her parental rights after abandoning me when I was eight and he did not take me, um, and my sister. And then, um, my aunt and uncle tried giving me away. Well, my granny and grandpa took us, but couldn't keep us. I found out later they had, you know, my granny was sick. So they gave us to my aunt and uncle who tried giving us to my other aunt, aunt, uncles. But, you know, they tried giving us away, but nobody else really wanted us. Um, so I pretty much knew nobody wanted us. Uh, my sister always took the... Took the showboat inside... Everything was about her. And I always stayed in the back. When I moved out on my own, I was still in high school. But I graduated high school. Nobody showed up for my graduation. I had to have back surgery. I I was paralyzed for a little bit. But I still became a police officer. And when I went to the academy and graduated the academy, my family didn't go to my graduation. I was alone. Nobody wanted me then. And the reason why I'm saying this is not to say pity me, poor me. What I'm trying to tell you is that it doesn't matter if you feel like you're alone or that nobody wants you. Because even if it's true, which I can almost guarantee it's not, most of the time... It's not. Sometimes it is true. Sometimes you're not wanted. And it's not because you're a bad person. No, if you're a child, it it has nothing to do with you. It's because they're shitty people. That's simple. It's because they are shitty. But when you get older, you just have to come to the terms that it's not about whether people want you. Hell, even now, I get where I miss having family. I'll try to call them every once in a while and they won't pick up and it breaks my heart. You know, I'm still a 44 year old man that that's about the only thing that'll crush me that and anything that happens to my daughter. But what you need to know, if you want to get over this, you make yourself worth something. You make yourself valuable. Do good help others it doesn't matter you keep being worthless you'll stay worthless that's just the truth of the world 
There's a lot of worthless people out there that are loved for no reason at all. Just because they exist. And you should be loved for no reason at all. But the world's not fair. Some of us didn't get that luxury. Some of us didn't get family that will love you regardless. Unconditional. I've never had unconditional love. Until my daughter. But I work hard every day to build value in my life. To fight for value in my life. To say I am worth it. Somebody has a better life because of me. I don't have to brag. I don't have to boast. I don't have to shove it into somebody's face. But while my family didn't come to my graduation, they're not around for me or anything. I'm making other people live better because I existed, because I did something. And that's what you need to do. Don't let somebody else's failure be your failure. I spent most of my life wanting, hoping, wishing to die. I did. I didn't want to live. No, I wasn't suicidal. I don't know how to be a coward. Oh, I do still think that it takes a lot of bravery to kill yourself. I also think it's a coward's way out too. I'm not going to give up. I was never that guy. But I didn't want to live anymore. And I didn't know why God had me here. Why it felt like I was being punished by having people that didn't love me. Maybe that's the lesson. Maybe you need to realize that it's you. You need to figure out how to do it by yourself. Make value out of nothing. When you can make nothing into something, you become unstoppable. Don't depend on the world to create your value. You create it. Become unstoppable. Stay in peace. Stay in love. Hey guys, I want to personally thank everyone for liking and sharing my videos. Uh, if you want to continue to see my content, all you got to do is press that subscribe button and I'll notify you as soon as a new video comes out. I don't get paid for any of this. So if you want to buy some of my merch, like my shirts, like Jesus is a badass or my don't be a dick shirt, uh, you can easily go to my merch store, which is at SOGTV.org, which I will have it in the description at the every video so push that go buy yourself a shirt i appreciate it have a blessed day and i will see you at the next episode thank you